Okay, so we're going to take a look at managing uh, multiple uh, versions and languages with Doxy. If you scroll through our page, uh, we brag about it, but we don't really explain it, so I'm going to explain it a little bit better. Uh, I've added a new section and documentation to basically cover uh, how to write and manage content in multiple languages. Uh, for now, it's just this demo stub, but it's very helpful because it lets you easily see how uh, you can uh, manage your content across multiple languages using Doxy and uh, do it in a very simple manner. So, uh, allow me to demonstrate, right? So, uh, for that I would just need to log into Doxy. I would go to uh, one of our uh, site pages that we are managing here. Uh, let's say the, this one, version and language, right? So by default, Doxy creates for you just uh, alpha and en, the two basic elements, right? Uh, just a basic version and the basic language. But uh, if you uh, create new ones, you can have them all listed over here. And then all you would do is you would just switch between them. And uh, in that way, you would create translations. So let me give you an example of how we would take an existing uh, set of documentation and modify it, right? Uh, in order to do that, we would just need to add a new version, right? Uh, I will make it inactive because I do not want it to show up and to be available to my customers yet. So I'm going to call it uh, Zeta. Okay, so we have created a new version. So now let's go ahead and update uh, the copy of this version. Uh, so I'm just going to add a new image uh, to my current copy. So I want to add some flowers here. I, I find that it's a little bit boring, so I just want my copy to be a little bit more lively. See there's some nice green flowers, because uh, why not? <laughs> uh, and just change up some copy, right? So uh, now that that's done, right? So we changed it up. Let's uh, go back to the page we were looking at before, which is the page with the multiple languages. And uh, if I was to change uh, the get param of this page to back to English and switch to version uh, 0 0.03, the Zeta version that we've defined, uh, my copy is already updated on this page, right? And uh, that's pretty cool. And if I change back, the copy is back to what it was before. And if I changed even one version back, uh, we have the older copy. So this lets you really have a lot of versions of your site running at the same time. So this helps you really create a lot of scenarios and create unique site content for all of your customers while at the same time preserving your sanity as you don't have to manage multiple HTML files, markdown files, and it's all right on your site. So this covers the A-B testing. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, if you like it, leave a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, just go over to support and open a ticket or ask us a question or just send me an email directly. It's in the YouTube description below. Uh, we'll be posting a lot of very cool uh, and useful uh, tutorials for Doxy. So subscribe and stay tuned. Have a good one.